You haven't found your way here by accident. It's a unique and meaningful connection meant to deliver the impactful message of Apostle Joshua Selman. Covenant, any altar here tying down marriages by fire from heaven be delivered now. 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 Now let me say this. Let me say this. Please listen to me. Gentlemen, I'm going to pray a very special prayer for you now. It's a prayer that I pray for myself. And when it's time to pray, everybody can receive. But the men, I want you to receive it. The spirit of a servant and a beggar. There are families that have that covenant. The only way they live is by being beggars. If you like, go and do a PhD anywhere around the world. It is the women that feed the men. No matter how hardworking they are. Let me tell you, it's a cause from hell. Things can happen temporarily, I understand. But where it becomes the norm, 30 years into marriage, the house was built by the wife. The car was bought by the wife. The only thing the man is doing is just to live there. It is against divine order. He said, after you have suffered for a while, that the God of all grace will establish you, settle you. Everyone here, that which has fought quality marriages in your family, this miracle service, you will not forget it in a hurry. My dear sister, every veil on your face, that as people look at you in the realm of the spirit, they are seeing something else. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, if you have the faith to believe this prayer, I tear that veil right now. 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 Someone pray. A major reason why someone came to church tonight. Favor. A redefiner of possibilities. Favor. The unique edge to business. The unique edge to ministry. The favor of God. Provoked by value. Provoked by relationships. Provoked through prayer. Provoked by the anointing. Go ahead and pray. Let favor rest upon me that if I did not receive anything in tonight's service, let me carry that grace. Let me carry that grace. Someone pray. Let me carry that grace. Let it speak redefining my finances. Let it speak redefining my opportunities. Let it speak redefining my realities. Online, make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. There is a grace called favor. It can come on men. The results can be evident. Bringing acceleration to your life. That whilst you serve the purposes of God. You advance with dignity. You make progress with dignity. Favor can redefine your marriage. The favor of God can redefine your family. It is not unmerited. Favor is merited. Favor is programmable. Favor is merited. Favor can be programmable. Sapa lakatepa leke parakata zekatesh lebaren. I decree and declare: Everyone who forgot you, may they remember you tonight. Not tomorrow. May they remember you tonight. May they remember you for good. May they remember you for kindness. May they remember you for promotion. May they remember you for lifting. May they remember you for help. May they be instruments of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has said, where is your God? May this week be their answer. From Monday to Sunday, let there be testimonies that show where your God is. In the name of Jesus. And any covenant with hell, 
with the grave, with the spirit of death, we sever that covenant now. Let me pray for a man of God who is in ministry. May your hands be strengthened. That this remaining part of the year, you will work valiant. You will do ministry with power. You will bring great glory to the name of the Lord. Let me pray for a family here. In spite of what may be happening around the nation, I pray for you. May a mark of exemption land on your head. A mark of exemption, let it rest on your head. In the name of Jesus. If you must travel, no accident. If you are in the air, no plane crash. I decree and declare if you must travel, let the angels go before you, clearing out wicked men from the road. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your children. You will not hear bad news. You will not hear they've joined or called groups. You will not hear they are destroying the destiny of others. In the name of Jesus. Your portion in this Abuja, let it be delivered to you. Your portion in Nigeria, let it be delivered to you. Your portion across the globe, let it be delivered to you. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy no more delay. No more delay. For your job, no more delay. For your papers, no more delay. For your children, no more delay. Let me pray over your spiritual life. Fresh fire on your prayer altar. Shout amen. Fresh fire on your prayer altar. You are loving Jesus with all your heart. Serving Jesus with all your heart. I declare the grace for the study of the word. Let it rest upon you. I separate you from wicked people. I separate you from evil people. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg for food to eat. Let strangers be sent by God to help you. In the name of Jesus. In your place of work, good news this week. I say it again, in your place of work, good news this week. In your business, enjoy good news this week. Whatever you're waiting for, it arrives speedily. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Every hindrance to your accessing power, every hindrance to your becoming that vessel ordained by God, I command that hindrance to give way now. I command that hindrance to give way now. I curse every devil. I curse every limitation from your life. And tonight at this conference, I release you. I release you to a new season. Step into a prophetic season by the power of the Holy Ghost. Step into a prophetic season by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God has not given you the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind therefore i declare fear dies timidity dies oppression gives way now by the power of the holy ghost every devil every demon every spirit by the blood of the eternal covenant leave their destinies now leave their destinies now I saw a dark cloud like a blanket over the entire nation and I was told that it limits people and the Spirit of God took me to Luke 12 and the woman who had been bound you don't have to be bound physically it stops people from standing straight there is a spirit over this territory that strips honorable men of their dignity they remain they have to serve bow down he said ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound these years, in the name of Jesus, we came to roll away that cloud. We came to roll away that cloud. I curse every spirit responsible for infirmities and sicknesses. Leave God's people now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. In Jesus' name I pray. Now, very quickly, I want you to check yourself by faith. From the front to the back, check yourself very quickly. And the power of God has touched you. You can do what you couldn't do. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed wherever you are. As we celebrate them, please make your way to the front. Let's have a few 
so that we can testify to my left or to my right koinonia are you celebrating them to my left or to my right the power of god has touched you don't sit back leave your seat very quickly and let's hear what jesus has done do what you couldn't do move your body move your hands you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself do so very quickly and please make your way to the front right away there are doctors here to confirm you and will give you an opportunity to share your testimony whilst that is happening please let me have your attention whilst that is happening how many of you are ready with your prayer requests you're ready with your prayer request now here's what i want you to do for me very quickly while we are waiting those who have received miracles are there people coming let's celebrate anyone who are coming please leave your seat and come testify come to my left come to my right apostle i've been healed a miracle has happened right now i can breathe i can move my body the pain is gone please make your way very quickly in the name of jesus whilst that is happening let me request very quickly that you send your prayer request to the last person by the left or the extreme aisle so that the ushers can quickly pick the request because shortly after the testimonies we are going to be having prayer over the request let's do that very quickly let's do that very quickly there is a lady who is going to shout now under the anointing now listen i'm sure many people will shout but there is a shout you you, you as loud as this auditorium is you will hear it everybody will hear it why the spirit of god does this sometimes i honestly do not know but it is a sign and a wonder it is something that god is birthing birthing in the life of that lady and her family and the lord is saying i should tell that lady remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold what god says to one he says to all behold i do a new thing 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 in the name of jesus is broken in the name of jesus the lord is showing me someone it's like your mother is a judge um someone in the court of law a judge you know like a legal practitioner but a judge i'm seeing the lord wants me to pray for that person your mother is a judge please if there is such a person let me just speak over your life quickly i didn't even want to you know speak prophesy because of our time it takes a lot of time but we stretch our hands over when you find such a person please i want to pray for you i'm seeing something um, that the lord wants us to rebuke by the power that raised christ from the dead mommy for you and everyone here represented the sound of death and mourning will not be heard in your family the sound of death and mourning i say it again will not be heard in your family you are delivered from the snare of the fowler in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please don't be embarrassed but i'm seeing something that looks like a mast i'm seeing something that looks like a mast like a fibroid in the name of jesus i don't know if it's for someone here or for someone who is connecting i don't mean to embarrass you but in the name of jesus i decree and declare if there's any of you standing here having any growth any fibroid in the name of jesus we curse it now by the power of the holy ghost we curse it now by the anointing of the holy ghost you are free and free forever in jesus name do we have a lady i'm still the lord is still prevailing on me please return to your seat the lady whose mother your mom is a judge where where are you from okay okay the mics are busy but she's from where cameroon and your mom is a judge what's her name she's a judge there i want to pray for her huh because i'm seeing a situation where someone is on her way to court and collapses and that's the end of it father in the name of jesus we use her as a point of contact to pray for everyone who is in the judiciary in the name of jesus every power that wants to waste your life we come against it now and for you my dear i pray for you and for your mother she will live and not die we speak life to her in jesus name 
are we ready for the testimonies let's take a few testimonies to the glory of god whilst we're doing that please let's collate the requests if you are yet to submit your request you wave it and there'll be ushers to help you please ushers just look out very quickly so that we collate everything very quickly yes sir very quickly apostle this will interest you give a word tonight about somebody trying to clean their air and then they damage that air a month ago he was trying to clean his ear and then since then he's not been able to hear from that particular ear yes but tonight as you were praying the power of god came upon his ear now he can hear clearly from that you are able ear. to hear how long has this been like a month i couldn't hear properly with this ear for a month in the name of jesus let's celebrate jesus are you ready to receive praise the lord stretch your hands and begin to declare in the name of jesus we declare prophetically ah lord visit families change stories rewrite test destinies in the name of jesus we are praying the church is praying the church of the lord jesus christ is praying to the god that answers prayers to the god that answers prayers Shalebereke paraka sobrenda beleka pariata legrepe deka parusiata. Turn captivities around, turn situations around in the name of Jesus. Give Canada testimonies, give Canada testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please open up your heart and receive every grace that comes from this altar is for your taking. Are you ready? In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. There is a spirit in man, Elihu said, and the breath of the Almighty maketh men of understanding. I pray for you, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding. Let it rest on you. Let it rest on leaders. Let it rest on parents. Let it rest on businessmen. Witty inventions manifestations of a strange order of wisdom the ability to comprehend at an unusual dimension i release it upon you now in the name of jesus hallelujah you've heard people give testimonies about the grace called speed it is true god can help a man he can give a man speed in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over someone who has lost time and is trusting God for acceleration. I call upon the God who is the giver of all graces. Receive the grace for speed. Take that grace now. Take it in ministry. Take that grace now. Let it speak in your life. Dominion over time. Dominion over time. I release that grace. Help that lady, dominion over time. I release that grace from the depth of my spirit. Let it rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to pray the favor of God upon your life. This grace called favor that has redefined the destinies of men, redefined the destinies of territories. I pray for you, Koinonia Canada, body of Christ in Canada, in the name of Jesus, such as I have, I pray for you by mercy. Let this grace called favor rest upon you now. Let this grace called favor rest upon you now. Unusual kindness, unusual access unusual acceptance i say it again unusual kindness unusual access unusual acceptance by this grace you will lay up gold as dust in the name of jesus take that grace take that fire let it follow you to your office let it follow you to your homes let it follow you to every nation go and prosper by this grace called favor may men arise to help you may men arise to help you kings will entreat your favor in the name of jesus
Aleluya. There is the gift of man. It's a grace. It says you will call on one and a nation will answer. It's a grace. You don't just call on men and they answer because you have something to say. There is a grace that compels men. Gideon blew a shofar and 33,000 people left their homes and they showed up. To a point God had to say drive some back in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. The grace that compels help us. The grace that compels divine connectors. The grace that compels men of influence. The grace that compels gifted men. The grace that compels burden bearers. Let it rest upon you now. You will never be without help. You will never be without help. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone who has been called to serve in the fivefold ministry the apostolic office, the prophetic office, evangelistic office, the office of a pastor, the office of a teacher. I stand by the privilege of this apostolic office and I decree and declare everything locked up within your spirit that needs to find expression. I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I activate it now signs and wonders help them I activate it now kingdom influence I activate it now access to the ears of kings access to the ears of nobles I release that grace upon you now extraordinary dimensions of revelation I release that grace upon you now be effective in ministry the grace to win souls the grace to be a soul winner in the name of Jesus receive it now hallelujah the final impartation I feel stead in my heart to release there is a grace for honor the Bible says this honor no man take it to himself you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred thou shalt take Joshua the son of Nun, in whom is the spirit and thou shalt lay your hands upon him it says then thou shalt take some of your honor honor is transferable what is honor the grace that makes men perceive you to match your value to match your sacrifice and to reward you thus is called honor the grace it makes men to perceive you correctly matching your labor in the spirit matching your sacrifice and they are compelled to reward you as touching their perception of your true worth is called honor many people do not have honor this is why they are despised i pray for you in the name of jesus where you have been rejected where you have been shortchanged by life may this grace for honor let it rest upon you now may it rest upon you now you will never go to a nation that despises you you will never go to a place where they demean downplay and reject your value may this grace speak in your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah this is our final night but i want to pray for the work of the kingdom in canada i thank god that we have servants of the living god here representing the pastorate and the body of christ i pray for the body of christ over canada in the name of jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh prayer fire upon your altar fresh passion for the world let it rest upon you the grace to desire corporate fellowship that your churches will no longer be empty there will be men and women saying come 
let us go to the house of the Lord so that he will teach us his ways in the name of Jesus Christ and because God has sent us here we declare greater economic emancipation for God's people you will not beg I say it again you will not beg the, the God that enthroned Joseph overnight the God that enthroned Daniel overnight the God that promoted Shadrach Meshach and Abednego in Babylon the God that promoted a village girl called Hadassah that she became queen overnight the God that took Gideon a young man in hiding the God that took Ruth lost everything in her life and in one moment I'm praying for you there is governmental authority there is grace that enthrones men to be gatekeepers captains of industry leaders in their field I say it again may that grace rest upon you may it rest upon you a king maker anointing may it rest upon you for some of you it will be like a dream they will make you a director in your place of work I say it by the power that raised Christ from the dead it will be like a dream my God will exalt you it will be like a dream my God will surprise you it will be like a dream my God will lift you you will occupy strategic business positions strategic political positions strategic organizational positions strategic ministerial positions in the name of Jesus and hear me there are powers that fight influence I pray for you every power that wants to fight your relevance that it will be said you were once great yesterday and that greatness has diminished he said thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side he said the Lord increase you more and more you and your children I speak it over you increase your influence will not go down Ichabod will not be a language used for you in the name of Jesus Christ pastor declare favor upon your life favor upon your ministry favor upon your business access to kindness access to unusual acceptance in the name of Jesus unusual kindness unusual acceptance pray favor over your business in addition to your productivity you need favor pray favor upon your ministry in addition to your diligence and consecration and love for Jesus you need favor in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray I want you to pray this final prayer with all your heart Jesus was teaching us how to pray and he said two things number one he said deliver us from evil deliver us from evil is the second prayer I penned down while in Canada the Lord put in my heart many of you do not know the mystery of calamities listen to my message deliverance from calamities you don't have to be an evil person to be a victim of calamities are we together now mishaps misfortune he says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous did you know there are people who walk head on and collide with calamity head on they are looking and you will think they are watching until they collide with calamity deliver us from evil are you ready to pray shout it say father I decree and declare that the rod of the wicked will not come near my dwelling I am delivered from trouble from pain from setbacks from calamity go ahead and pray please open your mouth and pray calamity of any and all sorts I'm escaped like the bird before the net the rod of the wicked someone pray the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous the rod of the wicked 
the rod of kidnappers the rod of armed robbers the rod of evil men the rod of ill ill speaking men the counsels of Ahithophel the rod of the wicked in your place of work koinonia pray the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous in your business endeavor deliver me from evil deliver me from the scourge of the tongue deliver me from the ill wishes of wicked men deliver me from there that will not rest till they see your tears those who have vowed not to rest till they see your pain those who have vowed not to rest till they see you defeated those who have vowed not to rest pray deliver me from there who are in fraternity with dark spirits looking forward to your downfall looking forward to mishaps happening to you one more minute you are praying stretch that prayer to your children stretch that prayer to your spouse stretch that prayer to the works of your hands oh i escape like the bird before the snare of the fowler In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there are people who have no business hating you except that they kept companies and they transferred the hatred of antagonists to them and it fell on you. Your boss used to love you until someone who does not like you told your boss to join them in hating you and now you are fighting battles you cannot explain. Let me tell you the truth. It is your responsibility to sanitize your environment and that through prayer. Are we together now? The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. When a gatekeeper speaks evil about you, it can peg your destiny. When a, an evil person gets to the ears of your helper before your arrival, they can bring whispers of, this, of, of demons. And by the time you arrive from their ears, their hearts have been poisoned. When they look at you, they say, I've changed my mind. My intention was to lift you. My intention was to wipe your family. But somebody came and told me, your family is not worth helping. And they recycle seasons of pain. Let me pray for someone. Anyone who has sent a wrong word to the ears of your helper, and without you knowing that your helpers have had things about you that is responsible for the antagonisms I'm praying for you be delivered this night be delivered this night be delivered this night from the scourging tongues of men be delivered this night in the name of Jesus please stretch your hands to this prayer request Stretch your hands and begin to speak as an act of faith. We don't do this as a ritual. No. If God does, we don't have to do it in a miracle service. No. It is always because we have a release by the Spirit of God. It is no ritual at all. This is God visiting his people. If you are bringing a request, please bring it quickly. Everyone, you are praying. Father, answer me by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are not just a prayer hearing God. You are a prayer answering God. Let me not have to repeat these things I have written again. Satisfy me early with your mercy. Someone is praying. Satisfy me early. Take a minute to pray. You are investing. You wrote for your husband. You wrote for your wife. Now pray for them. You wrote for your children. Now pray for them. You came to church receiving, believing for someone else. Pray for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shali Bara Sopranda Siata. Pray for them. Pray for them. Father, you are a prayer answering God. I lay my hands over this request. Answer your people. Give them testimonies. 
let it come to pass let it come to pass let it come to pass that you have shown them faithfulness let it come to pass that you have shown them mercy let it come to pass that you have turned their captivities let it come to pass in the name of Jesus that the doors have been opened let it come to pass and upgrade to the quality of their lives let it come to pass visit them impossible miracles in the name of Jesus for in Jesus name we pray for in Jesus name we pray Amen. father I lift my hands bowing my knees before your people in the name of Jesus I declare over every request here may it come to pass Amen. that the answers be delivered to your people speedily Amen. may it come to pass that the sickness is finally gone may it come to pass that the job has arrived may it come to pass that the baby has finally arrived may it come to pass that the visa finally came out may it come to pass that the relocation worked may it come to pass that the promotion happened may it come to pass that the cancer is gone may it come to pass that you now own your home may it come to pass that Abuja has opened up for you whatever is consistent with God's desire as represented in this request I declare speedy answers the prophetic word for you over this this request is that it will come to pass in Jesus name we pray lift your hands to receive the blessing I pray for you in the name that is above all names doors open koinonia receive it doors open every nation that has rejected you not after this service i decree and declare let the gates be open for you i say it again every nation that has rejected you not after this service in the name of jesus let the gates be open for you whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper by prophecy i shorten the distance between you and your helper by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper I shorten the distance between you and your helper in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare everyone who forgot you may they remember you tonight not tomorrow may they remember you tonight may they remember you for good may they remember you for kindness may they remember you for promotion may they remember you for lifting May they remember you for help. May they be instruments of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has said, where is your God? May this week be their answer. From Monday to Sunday, let there be testimonies that show where your God is. In the name of Jesus. And any covenant with hell, with the grave, with the spirit of death, we severe that covenant now. Amen. Let me pray for a man of God who is in ministry. May your hands be strengthened. Amen. That this remaining part of the year, you will wax valiant. Amen. You will do ministry with power. Amen. You will bring great glory to the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me pray for a family here. In spite of what may be happening around the nation, I pray for you. May a mark of exemption land on your head. Amen. A mark of exemption let it rest on your head in the name of Jesus if you must travel no accident if you are in the air no plane crash I decree and declare if you must travel let the angels go before you clearing out wicked men from the road in the name of Jesus I pray for your children you will not hear bad news you will not hear they've joined occult groups you will not hear they are destroying the destiny of others in the name of Jesus your portion in this Abuja let it be delivered to you your portion in Nigeria let it be delivered to you your portion across the globe let it be delivered to you in the name of Jesus I prophesy no more delay no more delay for your job no more delay for your papers no more delay for your children no more delay 
let me pray over your spiritual life fresh fire on your prayer altar shout amen fresh fire on your prayer altar you are loving Jesus with all your heart serving Jesus with all your heart I declare the grace for the study of the word let it rest upon you I separate you from wicked people I separate you from evil people in the name of Jesus you will not beg for food to eat let strangers be sent by God to help you in the name of Jesus in your place of work good news this week I say it again in your place of work good news this week in your business enjoy good news this week whatever you're waiting for it arrives speedily in the name of Jesus wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise for tonight thank you thank you Heavenly Father thank you Heavenly Father thank you Heavenly Father thank you Heavenly Father for someone difficulty has come to an end you have enjoyed progress but with difficulty now step into the realm of ease over your finances may God give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places oh you will find treasures this week your eyes will see where others do not see in the name of Jesus hear me every agreement between your family past and the devil that everyone from this family must worship the devil or worship some shrine you may call it any name whether you call it Aleku whether you call it whatever it is I stand here by the voice of prophecy I cancel every agreement I cancel every agreement from Plateau State to Benue State to Kogi State to the East to the West every agreement with the waters agreement with the sea agreement with spirit I cancel it now I cancel it now in the name of Jesus Christ I place an anointing on you the anointing that came on Rebecca that out of the many ladies who were at the water side when the servant of Abraham saw her he knew that this is the wife for Isaac let that grace rest on you and every gentleman here whether you are standing for yourself your siblings or your children in the name of Jesus the grace for your hand to be strengthened so that you can move to another season of your life I decree and declare let that grace rest on you in Jesus name please return to your seat rejoicing let's celebrate them return to your seat rejoicing gentlemen lend me your attention now I want to talk to you I will never raise a people who are only spiritually vibrant and then remain economically incapacitated it is a curse from the pit of hell quote me anywhere are we together the inability to provide for your family and to live a life of dignity and honor this is something that you have to fight and fight and fight again please make sure you help the people so that nobody is hurt hallelujah now look up please brothers I'm praying for everyone but I'm praying for you you may not know the implication of this prayer but there are many parents today in their 70s and 80s they are still feeding their children till today mama is using her retirement to feed 8 10 15 children it ought not to be so and it's not like the gentlemen are lazy I don't know why God is moving in this direction today but I believe that God is insisting that the glory of God must be announced in your life. Are we together? Yes. Do you know one of the reasons why people are getting into Yahoo and uh, cultism uh, and money ritual? I will tell you because everybody wants to make progress. 
and when people are pressed like this they only honor what is consistent with their convictions so when the gentleman wants to make ends meet it is not necessarily out of desperation or wanting money some just want a decent life but since it is not there they watch a friend who was once a beggar and in one month or two months for going to kill somebody or doing something now has a car now has a house no matter what you say there are people who will be desperate enough and say show me even if it's to sacrifice my mother i will sacrifice her so on one hand we don't just tell people stop money ritual stop sin stop this you have to show people the way if you don't show them the way you will be talking nonsense on stage they will people are desperate they will follow the direction of salvation or a semblance of it I want to pray for every gentleman here I confess to you that being established with the dignity of kingdom integrity outside the help of God is almost difficult for many men in our generation today to get a house of your own without stealing without killing without destroying without bribery if God does not help you you'll be wasting your time there are people who have finished school 20 years 25 years they've not had the first job when are they going to how much is one block how much is one cement when are you going to build a house for yourself talk less help others that's where grace comes and i want to pray for you i want you to receive it god is a helper you're the lifter of men the lifter of men I believe that with all my heart father I pray for everyone here but particularly the gentlemen I decree and declare everyone who is genuinely part of this grace by the power that raised Christ from the dead whether you are here on ground outside outside connecting across the globe I pray for you it would do you like a dream the way God will establish you I say from the depth of my heart it will be as if you are dreaming how my God will lift you God will cause productivity to be your second name I am confident that the sermons you've encountered have been a source of blessings elevating your life and inspiring a heartfelt commitment to serving God wholeheartedly we warmly invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you stay connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription represents more than just a click. It signifies a commitment to continuous spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aims to be a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and believers alike. We firmly believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our goal is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom illuminate your path. Thank you for being an integral part of this uplifting journey, and may God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Flaming Channel, and visit our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God bless you abundantly.